Alright, hello everyone, and welcome back today to some more StarCraft II Heart of the Swarm. And, of course, I'm going to have mic problems. Um, just two, two really quick things before I actually start getting back into the playthrough. Um, the first is that I do not have my contacts in today because I'm trying to give my eyes a rest so they don't get too irritated. So, my vision is blurry, so if I can't see anything and if I can't read anything, it takes me longer to actually zoom in on stuff than, uh, you know, normal. It's obviously because I can't, I have to, you know, lean in closer to the screen to try and read it. And, uh, yeah, so that's just unfortunate, but, uh, you know, it had to happen eventually, and, you know, today's that day. Uh, and the other thing is, I am also trying to upgrade my Mac to, um, I'm trying to upgrade my Mac to a... a a better process not not better processor but um the most current uh os system that it'll run now this mac isn't even a macbook pro it's not even a macbook air it's not even a macbook it's a powerbook g4 i believe and it's it's incredibly old and um you know just me you know i like tinkering with this stuff in fact this powerbook is older than the macbook this PowerBook at its newest was older than my MacBook when I first got it, and that MacBook is now a piece of garbage because, you know, the battery's dead, and I'm not paying more money for a battery that's just going to crap out on me after so many years. So, you know, if I have to stop the video or something to change or edit something on that, you probably won't even be aware of it, but I will. By doing nothing. Oh, shut up, Isha. I'm, I'm actually explaining something. I'm explaining important stuff because I can't even read this stuff on the screen. Yeah, that's Mutalisk. That's, I can. I know what they are. I just can't read it. All right, we were gonna play this evolution Mutalisk. mission, so let's let's start. It's um the Mutalisk evolution mission. The aberration doesn't have one. I don't think Infestor does either. Only some only some creatures have mu uh, mutation missions. Others don't. So let's see what this one is. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a stream data. Not like a... I, I, you see what I mean? I can't read that. What does it say? Like, 10 of 12? I don't know. I won't even try embarrassing myself any further. Just load. It's good, too, because I'm actually getting work done on this computer. I have, a, I have uh, two laptops, and uh, I'm trying to fix up another desktop. And maybe one day I'll go back to that MacBook, but it won't be any day, you know, soon. I have a lot of memories with that MacBook playing World of Warcraft all the time. That was pretty much the computer I played, like, 90% of my World of Warcraft time on. This computer right here, I didn't. Dominion Is that a meteorite? Platform, Sigma Centauri. Feral broodlords nearby. Yeah, what the hell? It's a it's a meteorite or an asteroid. Missile turrets designed to kill mutalisks. Stalemate without broodlords. Find the broodlords. We'll assimilate their essence and destroy the Dominion. All right, let's get those broodlords. What's this? It's mutalisk spawner. Lords, recover essence. This is them. Well, let's destroy their escort first. Brood lords can't cannot attack air by themselves. Brood lords are horribly, horribly defenseless against air. All right. We assimilated. Assimilate their essence. Right? Yes, they want me to Mutalists morph now. Can morph into brood lord. Oh, it's B. Command. There you go. By the way, Mutalists do not morph into brood lords in multiplayer unless they changed it. Mutalists, uh, brood lords morph from corruptors. But they haven't given me corruptors yet. Broodlord launches Broodling. Assault ground targets from distance. 
Oh, now you even have some more mutas. will protect brood lords. Complementary skills. Maybe corruptors aren't in a uh, multiplayer. Now let's end the stalemate. All right, let's do it. Let's fuck them up. Well, what I should do is I should make sure that the mutas don't do that and fucking fly off all over the place. Just leave them as bodyguards. Out of range of the missile turrets? Good. Very good. Very, very good. Attack! Attack the humans! Attack! Oh, see? Well, this is where the mutas come in handy. Shit, I have, I have no clue what they're doing right now. See what I mean? Air units go crazy sometimes. Oh, we should, we should just probably just go attack them and just end it. We're being overrun! Drop in reinforcements! Let's have these guys roll around. They're gonna fuck this guy up, whoever he is. Bunch of Marines. Easy. Easy meat right there. Shit, Vikings, I didn't even notice them. No siege tanks, which can't shoot us. Same deal with uh, the planetary fortress, it cannot attack air. Well, that little broodling did that much damage, really? Y'all Terran are weak. Planetary fortress destroyed. Platform secured. All right. Nice. Broke us her. Dominion storage world. Her. <laughs> Broke us her. Transport wreckage discovered. Jorium crystal contained within. You mean a rich mineral patch? Jorium useful for experimentation. Enhances psionic potential. Must acquire. Completed research on primal essences. New strain created. Viper ready to assault Dominion. Vipers, huh? What do these do? They're like flying centipedes. Sure, all Terran forces. Viper, strategic asset, abducts targets, pulls to its location, usable on ally or foe. D abduct pulls Your target to the Viper. To the other side. Abducts targets, pulls to its location, usable on ally or foe. I see. Strategic Siege asset. Text. Oh my God! Hold on! Hold on! Fucking. The, the video is, the audio is repeating again. Ugh. Of aberrations. Sucks, man. Oh, it's D. I keep pressing E. Oops. Get down here. Wait, can they even attack? Oh, it can only attack air units. Uh, get it off of me! They have a far range for that, man. That is far off. Get over here. You know, maybe sieging up when you're under attack isn't exactly the best idea. Viper. Emits disabling cloud. Foes within cannot attack. Creates a cloud that slows movement speed and prevents enemy units and structures from attacking or using energy based abilities. Last 10 seconds. Rip that bunker apart. 
That's pretty good. 